Hello friends, it's Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. And today we're reviewing another set of adjustable dumbbells. You're like, Coop, there's more adjustable dumbbells? Yes, there is. And this one was actually a contribution from you guys. So every time we do a video, I ask, what do you think about the product? And what are some products that I can compare it to? Overwhelmingly, people in our best adjustable dumbbell breakdown video were like, Coop, you've got to review and compare the Nordic Track adjustable dumbbells. Now, Nordic Track is not a company known for dumbbells. In fact, they're not really known for strength either. We review their treadmills oftentimes, we've reviewed some of their rowers, some of their exercise bikes. They're really a cardio focused company and really a cardio focused tech centric company due to iFit. This product I think was off my radar, one, because it was from Nordic Track and they're not really strength endemic. Number two was because this is a newer design that they really haven't marketed a whole lot. The old design was a black and blue design. It was like octagonal and was not very nice. When I had people comment about getting these, I took a look at them and on spec sheets, they're actually pretty interesting. When you look at the price point and what is involved in the build, these may be some of the better value adjustable dumbbells on the market, but let's go to the review and we can determine that for ourselves. Okay, so let's start with some overall specs. Number one, these are not like a max weight adjustable dumbbell. If you're looking for a dumbbell that is 80 plus pounds, you should probably look at something else. What we would recommend is probably newer bells or power blocks. Some of those that are out there, if you'd like to see some of those videos, we'll put some links below the like button. I've literally reviewed and compared nearly every adjustable dumbbell that's on the market, both in depth on the site and also on our channel. If you'd like to see more of those videos, make sure you let me know in the comments and also subscribe. Also, this particular set was sent to us by Nordic Track for an honest review. So like all our other reviews, I'm gonna give you Coop's honest take. In addition to that, if you'd like to buy these and you'd like to support us, we put links below the like button with updated pricing to the site. So if you'd like to support us and like to purchase the product, go through those. They'll pay us a small commission, but it won't increase how much you pay. Okay, the overall design on this, as I said, is not designed for those that are heavy lifters. This is designed for somebody that is looking to lift a max of 55 pounds, which I think is a, a good amount of weight. When you look at comparables like the Bowflex 552s, it's a similar amount of weight that's available. When you look at the starting weight for power blocks, Again, similar at 50 pounds. If you look at Newabells, again, their mid-tier set is 50 pounds. I think 50 to 55 pounds is a nice max weight increment for most people without having to spend a lot of extra money. But just understand, if you're looking for something heavier, these won't fit the bill. Another thing is these are designed to feel and fit like a normal dumbbell. You can tell that they're very much a pro style dumbbell design. They're actually using cast iron plates here. They're mixing in some plastic and rubber throughout. But as you can see, there's no cage design. It's using a tray, a tray that's very similar to some other dumbbells we see like Bowflex or MX Select or Newabell. This is where you set the weight in so it's always there whenever you wanna change it and then you can pull it out and it's ready to go. The pro style dumbbell design I really like because it's a very balanced, very proven, and also what most people are used to using at commercial gyms. You go from your commercial gym to home, you realize, man, I really like fixed dumbbells and I like being able to have them all the way from five to 100 pounds. You then realize I'm one, lacking a lot of space, and two, I'm lacking some funds to make that happen. So adjustable dumbbells are really the main options people look for for home gyms, but the problem can be they don't always feel fit and are in use much like what you're used to using at a commercial gym. Say power blocks, which I love for their durability, but they have a caged in design. These, as you can see, have no cage design. When you're using them, they're very balanced and feel very similar and are styled after a pro style dumbbell, which is one of the most popular dumbbells in the world. So if you're looking for a dumbbell that feels like a normal dumbbell, these definitely hit that mark. Now, in order to adjust these dumbbells from the starting weight of 10 pounds up to 55 pounds, you use these little knobs here. Now, this is a pro and a con. Number one, the pro is these can go in two and a half increments, kind of. So what I mean by that is it starts at 10 pounds, max 55 pounds. The way you adjust it is in two places. You have these right here that are the big head adjusters. So these adjust by 10 pounds or five pounds per head. So if I go from here to here, 
and here to here, that's 20 pounds total. But you can hit the in-betweens using these selector weights right here. So if you want two and a half pounds, you move one of these over and you move one of these over and suddenly you have a two and a half pound increment. If you want five pound increment total, you can go over here. The problem is it's not two and a half pound increment in between each. There's 15 total increments that it works between. And so it goes like 10, 12 and a half, 15, 20. So it doesn't go to 17 and a half and then it restarts over. So you don't have exactly two and a half pound increments, but for adjustable dumbbells, it's got quite a lot of increments within it and definitely not something we see at the price point amongst most of their competitors. Now, one of the upsides of this style of change system is you have a lot of increments. The downside is you have to change four different ones for each dumbbell. So when you're switching amongst dumbbells or say you're supersetting, rather than grabbing another dumbbell, say it's a new belt and just twisting a handle, you're gonna have to move this one over, move this one over, move this one over, move this one over, and then do the same thing on the other one if you're using the pair of dumbbells. I honestly don't think that's a big enough reason to not get these. I think this system is actually very intuitive, very quick to use. It's not as seamless or as nice feeling as say Bowflex, but it's not that big of a difference to adjust between these. One thing I will call out though, is the weight increments are listed right here on the cradle. Number one, you guys know I'm not a fan of stickers. I understand for the price point and it's actually kind of easily identifiable for the big plates, but where you run into an issue are these five and two and a half pounds. There's no way to tell on this knob which one is five pounds and which one is two and a half pounds. So you kind of just have to guess. So that means when you're in the middle of your workout, you're focused, you're gonna have to think a little bit to decide where to put this one for the five or two and a half pound increment. I think it would have been nice if they just added on top like five point this way, two and a half point that way. It would have just been a nice thing to add. I don't think it's a deal breaker, but again, it's, this is an honest review. These are things I like and don't like, and that's one thing I just don't like. Okay, now one thing I do really like related to the pro style dumbbell set is that it's got a flat head. So one thing we see with say Bowflex or many other adjustable dumbbells, they've got their selectorized system on the end of the dumbbell, or it's a weird shaped plate. This is very similar to pro style dumbbells. So when you take it out, even at lighter weights, it's still got a flat head. So you can see this is how they're connecting together. But when this is on the top of your leg, say when you're going back for bench press or say when you're doing seated shoulder press or say you're doing seated curls, you end up having dumbbells on the top of your thighs probably more often than you really think about it if you're used to a commercial gym. Having a dumbbell that isn't flat is very annoying and very uncomfortable. It's one reason loadable dumbbells can be very annoying. This flat head, both on the lighter weights and on the heavy weights, is a huge benefit to design. And another reason that I think going after the pro style design that we see these go after and competitors like Nuobel that are much more expensive is just like a time tested, really good design. Now, one thing to notice though, is these cast iron plates are round. So that's a positive in that it feels like a pro style dumbbell and it's very even throughout, no matter how you're holding it. It's a negative if you set it on the ground and you're in a garage gym and your garage gym is sloped towards the garage door, like 99% of garage owners, and you don't put it perpendicular to that, to put it horizontal, then it's gonna fall forward. So just understand when you set these down, there's a positive in that design of the circle, but there's also a negative in that kind of roll. Now, I haven't talked about this. I'm sure you're like, man, Coop, when are you gonna hit on this? That is this right here. That's the handle. This handle, as you can see, is knurled goodness. Most dumbbells at this price point with this type of marketing are not metal knurled handles. An example, MX Select, their old style had a knurled handle. Then they decided to turn it into rubber, plastic, very annoying, power block. Their starter sets are all rubber, plasticky, just don't have a lot of grip. They now offer an upgrade option after third parties have come out with their own that is a knurled handle. Knurled handles are just superior. Now I understand there's people out there that like the other handle because maybe it's a little bit less intimidating. They work out with workout gloves. They don't want to have calluses. Okay, I understand that. But one thing that I think they did right with this is it's a very passive knurl. I prefer a more aggressive knurl. This knurl I think is enough that it feels comfortable, it will grip your hand, but not so much that it's digging in in any way. It's a very, very light knurl. So I like that they went with a metal handle. I'm fine with them going with a more passive knurl because the audience they're trying to reach is one that I think generally would like a lighter knurl. Big fan of this. At this price point, and I'm gonna get into the value proposition and compare these to others, but at this price point, a knurled handle, yeah, it's nice.
Now, one thing I wanna note with adjustables in general is they're oftentimes not very accurate. And the less you spend, the less accurate they are. Even companies like PowerBlock, when we weigh them out, they can be all over the board. This isn't like calibrated weight plates that are stated 45 pounds, and if they're above or below 1% of the stated weight, they'll replace them. Adjustable dumbbells, companies just don't do that. They give you a round number like 50 pounds, and it can be anywhere we've seen from like 45, 46, up to like 54. It's like, it can be really ridiculous. And that can be hard with like everything they're working with, but it's something we always do is weigh them. These are actually pretty within spec of what I'd expect for most adjustable dumbbells. And they're actually over the stated weight, which is superior and preferred versus underweight. So for the 10 pounds, it ended up listing around 11 pounds. And then for the big ones, the 55 pounds, it ended up being around 56 pounds. So I prefer it not to be under, I'm glad it's over, and it's pretty close to what it would be. Again, for the price, a little surprising. I thought it would be more off than that. So I've said a lot of things I like. Let me get into some things that I'm just not a huge fan of. So overall, these are somewhat compact, but they're not the most compact. For a 55 pound dumbbell, when I compare these to others that are out there, they're a little bit longer. Not for everyone, but for some. These are 16 and a half inches long. For this weight, that's not the longest on the market. For instance, Bowflex 552s are 17 inches long. They are also always that length no matter what weight you're using. When you're using a 10 pounds, these are obviously more compact because they're not adding these in there. Or the selectorized dial isn't needed to be there either, like Bowflex, huge benefit. But 17 inches is longer than some others we see. New Bells, for instance, that are comparable at this weight, their 50 pound version, are 15 inches. Powerblock Sports that are 50 inches are also really compact at 12 inches long. So when you think about the length of these, if you've ever seen an 80 pound New Bell, these are about similar to that. They're not as bulky as some of the others we've seen. They're middle of the road. So just understand, like sometimes because I'm so large and bulbous, I can make everything look small on screen. So understand size isn't relative to what you're looking at. <laughs> okay, now another thing I don't like about these and when I compare them to PowerBlox is these are non-expandable. These don't expand like PowerBlox. So with PowerBlox, you can start with 50 pounds and you know that you can always buy a kit to add on, to go up to 70 pounds or even 90 pounds. That's a huge benefit of PowerBlox. It's also a huge benefit of companies like Iron Master that are using more of a loadable design. These 55 pounds, you're never gonna be able to add more weight outside of say some like dumbbell magnets or something like that for five or two and a half extra pounds. Other than that, 55 pounds is what you've got. So know that if you're gonna upgrade from these, you're gonna have to either sell these and get a new set, or you're just never really gonna have to upgrade. Which for a lot of people that are using these for more isolation movements or don't plan on lifting more than 55 pounds with their dumbbells, I think that's fine. Okay, so I've listed some things that I don't like. Let me get, just get into where I recommend this and who I think these are for. Number one, these are a tremendous value. Honestly, quite possibly the best value adjustable dumbbell on the market if you are okay with under 55 pounds. Let me break it down. Number one, these are 350 bucks, including shipping. There isn't really another dumbbell at that weight increment that compares in price to that. For a cast iron head, no cradle design, flat ended, two and a half and five pound increment adjusted dumbbell for 350 bucks. I don't understand why Nordic Track doesn't market these more. Like it blows me away that like, I don't see these all over the place and in many people's home gyms. Like I'm, I'm just gonna be honest here. These are a vastly better dumbbell than Bowflex 552s. Like they are, and they're cheaper. Like seriously, if you're looking within that range and you're comparing these to MX Selects, you're comparing these to Bowflexes, you're even comparing these to new bells because new bells are quite a bit more expensive even at this weight. These are the best. Like, I'm serious. I'm blown away with how good these are for the price. That said, if you want to spend more, I think new bells are better. Power blocks are expandable. Iron Masters, again, are expandable and go very heavy. But if you're fine with the 55 pound max weight and you want the best price value you can get, like, I seriously cannot believe these are only 350 bucks. They could sell these for so much more. I hope they don't. Now that we've made the video, <laughs> sometimes happen where companies will increase the cost. Please don't, but man, I'm telling you, for the price, these are a killer value. 
So just to show that value and give you some pricing, number one, new bells at 50 pounds are 595 bucks when you factor shipping. One of the more expensive options at that weight increment. For people that are like looking at new bells, I'd really just recommend going all the way to 80 pounds because you can't expand them and they're not that much more and man, they are such good dumbbell. Then you have power blocks and the cheapest version they offer or the lowest cost version they offer are the Sport 50s. Again, these are expandable. You can buy multiple kits, go to 70 or 90 pounds and these cost 513 bucks when you factor in shipping. So you look on page and you're like, oh, those are pretty cheap at 400 bucks. You then add them to cart. To us, it was another 114 bucks to have them shipped. Man, it's annoying. Then you have MX Select, which I think is one of the most comparable options to these. They're a, maybe a little bit more compact at the bottom, at the top, they're pretty similar. They have a different adjustment system. There's just some things about them that are maybe better, maybe worse, but those cost 400 bucks. So it's another 50 bucks on top of these on a dumbbell that I think this one is actually probably superior overall. Then you have Bowflex Select Tech 552s, which are probably the most popular adjustable dumbbell in the entire world. And those are 430 bucks. I think Bowflex honestly prices these mainly off of their name versus what they're offering. There are just better dumbbells out there today. It's not that I don't like Bowflex. They were one of the original like forefronts for adjustable dumbbells and I think really put them on the map. But these, the, I'm telling you, these are so much better. Now, one comparable option is Iron Masters. They sell a 45 pound set, but they still cost 519 bucks. So if you want into that system, I think that's fine. And especially because they're expandable, especially because they go very heavy up to 120 pounds. But again, if you're just for 55s, these are the ones. And then lastly, like one of the cheapest one that's on the market that we reviewed, that's a copycat of the Bowflex is the Flybird adjustable dumbbell, which goes up to 50 pounds, has weird increments, but it still costs 380 bucks to get them both. So all of this combined, there are some things I called out, like the stickers, the plastic cradles, the double adjustment system, but man, all of those sins are covered by a low price. That low price is 350 bucks. These, I think within that scope, these are now the ones to beat under 55 pounds for value. I heard a rumor on the street, and I hope this doesn't happen, but I heard that they may be discontinuing these. I'm just hoping this video will like maybe get them to not discontinue these because these are a incredible value. Please, Nordic Track, like this is a good product. Add some improvements to the dials so I know what I'm doing and you got a winner. All right, so there's my opinion on these. Thank you for asking me to review them. In fact, every time somebody asked me to review them, they were like, Coop, you're missing really the best value under 55 dumbbells that are out there. Um, and that's the Nordic track. And you're right, like these are them. Sorry it took so long to get to them, but we'll update our rankings. These are the Nordic track 55 pounds select a weight adjustable dumbbells. This is Coop from Garage and Reviews. Let me know what you think of these. How do you think they compare to other ones that are out there? Are there any that I haven't gotten to yet? I mean. I feel like I've gotten all of them, but maybe not. Let me know in the comments. We'll see you next time. Peace.